from Vince Scully Avenue, welcome to Dodger Stadium. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Miami Marlins taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now. And on the hill, the southpaw from Mexico, Julio Urias. What do you have on him, Chris? Power pitcher. He's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity. And out of his hand will explode the breaking ball. Very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger, the fastball will beat them. Next offering is foul back. One and two here. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Here comes a pitch. Stays alive. Out to short, Rojas. Jump throw. One up, one down. And time now for the Marlins lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but They've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Josh Bell at the plate now. Misses outside, two and one. Two outs. Fouls one off. Two and two. And now the lefty. And now the count filled up three and two. And he walked him. Just missed his spot on the inside right there. Here's the third baseman, Jake Berger. And the pitch. Swings through that. One ball, two strikes. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. One left for Miami, and now the Dodgers get a crack at it. No score. Back here at Chavez Ravine, and today's starting pitcher, Braxton Garrett. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick, and by the time the hitter sees it, it's right on top of him. And here's the veteran outfielder, Mookie Betts. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on-base and slugging, too. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then... If this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. Because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. The wind of the pitch. Looked like it was a little bit up. Payoff pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Batting second. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Freddie. 
The lefty ready and a 1-1. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. Check swing, now an appeal to third. No swing. Gary Simmons with the call. Lined into right. Solaire makes the grab, and there's two gone. Batting third. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. The batter now will be Will Smith. The one two. Fights it off, you'll see another. Way inside, gets out of the way. Next pitch just misses. And that's ball three. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. And he deals. On the ground to short, birdie. On the run, sends it over to first. That is the inning. Dodgers down in order. We played an inning. No score. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Here's Guriel. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Freeman makes the grab one away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Second inning here, no score. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a ball popped up. Rojas under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Well, oh, that's a frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Garcia gone on the play, and that is that. Miami down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here in L.A., bottom half of inning number two, J.D. Martinez stands in. And that one hammered. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. One down, base is empty. And a count one and two. And the pitch. On the ground right side. And that chance handled. Now the throw to first on the run. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Chris Taylor now. Kicks and fires. Oh. Just missed. Next one is off the play, and a count is three and one. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it, so that's a good take by him. Three oh. one, and he couldn't come up with it. Close pitch there, but you got to forget about that call if you're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You've got to get out of the inning first, and then if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout. And now it's going to be James Outman. Bounced, and that got the pitcher. In time to Guriel, and that is that. 
What a play to end the inning. There's no way he saw that into the glove. No, you're absolutely right. I'll well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And here's the catcher, Nick Fortes. The pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. Rosario tosses He's the out. first. And one away in the top of the third. Good two-seam action right there. Running away from the batter. Rolled over it. Got the ground out. Birdie tries to hold up. Appeal to first. Did not go. The pitch. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. And a ball and two strikes. Nope. Outside. And now it's filled up. Top of the third, no score. The 3 2 okay. is oh. off the outside edge, and that is ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, no the base runner how. over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary Luis. lead. So, a ball oh, down right. the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Got it by him for the K. Marlins leave one. Still no score. Back here at the ballpark, and now the veteran third baseman, Enrique Hernandez. Next pitch misses inside, two and one. And that's through there for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. him looking that's a strikeout well just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there and I don't think he was taking it thinking it might be a called ball or anything I just think he was flat out frozen did not expect that location in my opinion and it's fouled away and here it comes and yeah, there's ball four Now it's Mookie Betts. Struck out swinging, leading off the bottom of the first. And a pitch. Check swing. He held up. And it's 2-1. and one. There's a strike. Rojas, the base runner at first with one out. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. And that one hit to first. And it's through for a hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. 0 for 1 so far. Two on, one out. Battling here as he fouls it away. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. And he chases that one. 
That's the second out. Well, when you throw the same pitch back to back, that's how you want to do it. Set him up in the strike zone, then extend a little bit from there and see if you can get him to chase. Nicely done with the slider right there. So first and second with two outs. Will Smith steps to the plate for the dot. And now this is down for a base hit. Rojas headed for the plate. He will score. On the board first, it's one zip. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Three innings complete. It's the Dodgers one and the Marlins nothing. And welcome back. Out of the fourth. Now here's the Marlins DH. Josh Bell. 2-1 now. You know, these Marlins, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Next offering is fouled back. Three two and a foul ball he stays alive. Swing and a miss struck him out couldn't catch up to the heater toughest pitch to hit fastball on the outer black man sometimes you just got to tip your cap Jake Berger the next up for the Marlins. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And one and two. Down and in, moved his feet. The fish hitless so far in the game. And down on strikes he goes. Two gone now. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame and that's now three in a row. Yeah he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. The pitch. And that's in for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Guriel started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, didn't go. Two down, nobody on. High in the air, out to right. Bet settles underneath it. He's got it. And that is out number three. So they go quietly there to the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Dodgers one and the Marlins nothing. Welcome back. John Chami and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, J.D. Martinez. And that's just foul. J.D. Martinez is the first guy that I remember seeing videotaping his own batting practice so that he could go back inside and look at the video. Kicks and deals. Got him looking for the K. Strike three called on a slider at the knees. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Next pitch is downstairs. That one out to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He reached out a walk his first time. Check swing didn't go. And it's two and one. And 
And a swing and a miss. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. And the next pitch is way outside. And now the lefty. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. And that's a two-out double. Everything came together for him. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. And here is swing and a ball popped up and that'll fall for a base hit coming around third is Taylor he'll score and they lead by two well done drives in the run Look that one in there for the knock definitely got that pitch on the outside of the cap a little bit but he made it work for him here's Kike Hernandez line drive and a base hit they stopped the lead runner at second now two on with two outs Miguel Rojas at the play. He walked and came around to score his first time up. And a pitch. Swings through that one. Next one misses. And the count is two and two. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Next offering misses. Three and two now. Mookie Betts up next for the Dodgers. Swing and a pop-up. Birdie gets under it. And that'll do it. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Your dial. New inning getting started. And stepping in is the speedy Jazz Chisholm Jr. Jazz Chisholm Jr. The pitch. And a foul ball. You know, these Marlins do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. Starter's leash has to be getting tighter with his pitch count where it is, but so far he's been really effective in this one. Left-hand batter waits. Got him. One away here in the fifth. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Three, two. That's ripped. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. He was all over that one. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive into center field. Lifted in the air, right field. And there's two away. Now battle. John the Birdie at the plate. Struck John out swinging his first time. Birdie. And a pitch. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. The pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that is that. He continues to roll on the mound as five shutout innings are in the books. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Dodgers two and the Marlins nothing. So they turn things over to the righty, Ryan Hoeing. 
Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. So the lineup flips over. Mookie Betts steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Right side. This looks like extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Now the number two hitter, Freddie Freeman. The next Ooh, offering that's misses. And yeah, that's ball two. Betts stands at second with no outs. That one's in there. That is strike two. Bullpen activity starting up now. A.J. Puck appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Lopez getting loose as well. 2-2 two -two now. In the air to left down the line. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Runner at second, nobody out. That one the other way, calls it in, and there's one away. Now batting, catcher. And up to the plate is Will Smith. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Comes a 2-2. Hard ground ball base now. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now J.D. Martinez at the plate. That misses. And now three balls and a strike. Right-handed reliever. That's a base hit. Run scores. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. One down. And next for L.A., Ahmed Rosario. The next pitch misses, and now three and one. Runners at first and second with one gone. Fouls one away, and now three and two. righty deals slice to right Solaire makes the grab two down no left Chris Number Taylor three. steps to the plate Chris. for the Dodgers Taylor. the 1-1 one, one. that's a ball Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's gonna bring in some runs. Arise on the first. That's the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 3-0. It's Major League Base. Back here at Dodger Stadium. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Jorge Soler up at the plate. They say it went. One ball, two strikes. Got him swinging. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. At the 
Belton fires. Line drive caught. The batter, number nine, designated hitter. John. And now the switch Bell. hitting first baseman Josh Bell. A strikeout and a walk. And he deals. And he can't come up with it. But he wins Got the it. foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Dodgers three and the Marlins nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Here's a speed threat. James Outman. And a 1-1. And he lays down a bunt. And he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. You know, these Dodgers putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count off, and now they've got it up. Fires the second too late into second with a double, and that was hard hit. So, a man aboard, Enrique Hernandez. Steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Jorge Lopez will take over here. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Here's the shortstop at the plate. Miguel Rojas. The batter number 11. Runner leads away at second. Hard hit, right side. Slings to first. Got him. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Here's Mookie to hit. The 1-1. And a big swing and a miss. Miami's bullpen with some action. A.J. Puck getting ready to go. Number 62 getting cranked up as well. And a one-two. And a ball <laughs> evens the count. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. Third out, and that ends the frame. One left for L.A., but they lead it 3 nothing. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. Now, Jake Berger. Ripped to third and caught. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Yuli Gurriel comes up to hit. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. Yeah, his swing is so good, it's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. And the pitch. And right back to the mound. Tosses to first, and two away to start the seventh. Center fielder, number two, Jazz Chisholm Jr. The pitch. On the ground to the left, and it stays fair. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Avisail Garcia up to the plate.
Line drive, base hit. Jazz on his horse, coming around third. He scores, and now just a two-run deficit. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. He got a backdoor breaking ball. Really easy to give up on that pitch, but he stayed on it and shot it right back in the direction it was breaking from. Really nice job of letting it travel. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Julio Urias done in this one, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Brewstar Grotterol comes on now. Power slider guy, boo. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. Nick Fortes, the next up for the Marlins. The tying run at the plate. In there at the knees, and the count one and two. And a swing and a miss. Good job at damage control right there. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in L.A., set for the last half of the seventh. And now, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. Next Ball one two. misses, and a count two and one. On the ground to first. He steps on the bag, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. The bat, the catcher. Will. Will Smith, the next to hit. And a ground ball to first. He handles it himself. Two up, two down. Here is J.D. Martinez. One for three. It's been a solid inning so far in relief. Getting them through this inning only down two could give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind their way back into this game with the few outs that they have left. Birdie fires over to first. And Martinez is out. And that is that. Offense held a check there. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Dodgers three and the Marlins one. And welcome back. We go to the eighth, and the batter will be the shortstop, John Birdie. John Birdie. The one one. That one missed. Pitch misses inside. Three and one. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. That one finds the zone. And the count is filled up. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful. Not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. Here comes a pinch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Back to the top of the Miami order. And up next for Miami, Jorge Soler. Grotterol keeping him close. Birdie gets his lead at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. In the air to left center. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. One away. 
second baseman, Luis Arroyo. So a lefty out of the pen, Alex Vesia gets an opportunity to square off against his former team, so I wouldn't be surprised if he came out a little extra jacked up right here. Luis Arise stands in. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Two and one now. Swing and a miss <laughs> as he was out front that time. Into center. Outman settles underneath it. Makes the catch. Two way down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in. Here's Josh Bell. Swings and misses. And a count one and two. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. And a one-two. Runner on the goal. Pitch misses in. Throw to second and great jump. Well, it really doesn't matter what the situation is. When a guy like this gets on first, you know he's going to steal second at some point during the at-bat. Nice job to get in the scoring position. The defense probably knew it was coming, but they just couldn't do anything to stop it. Next offering way off the plate. Runner at second, two down. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Around third. He'll score easily, and it's a one-run game. Big RBI for him right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. But with the tie and run at first base, he's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on, drive it into a gap, and score that run from first base. Three and two, payoff pitch. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a three, two ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. So the Marlins go with a new arm, number 62. Now pitching for Miami. Number 62. Well, one run game. Now it's the second baseman, Ahmed Rosario. And now two balls and a strike. Fouled off left side. The 2 2. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. And here's a 3-2. Line drive. Caught. That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he couldn't have hit that ball more on the screws than he did. And yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. Righty delivers. Off the outside oh, edge, and now the count is two and two. Action in the pen down there. A.J. Puck. 
the left hander is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two away. And up next for Los Angeles, James Outman. Left hand hitter waits. And he walked him. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate. But as a hitter, you'll take that all day. Move to first. Outman back in on a dive. Up the middle, birdie. They get the force. That ends the inning. So the Dodgers leave one, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Evan Phillips. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Now it's Yuli Gurriel. Kicks and fires. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. Here's a one-two. Two ball, two strikes. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Well, I definitely say that's a statement strikeout right there. You come out of the bullpen, go right after the hitters, and three pitches later, you got one out. I'll tell you what, if you're in the dugout, you're looking at each other and saying, he's going to be tough to get to today. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Next offering is in for a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, the worst part on that one is he lost control against one of the fastest guys on the team. This might turn into a double. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Smith calls it in, and there's two away. So they're down to their final out. Nick Fortes, the next up for the Marlins. And Chris, what about the stolen base to try and get the tying run into scoring position? It's definitely in play, and you want to see it early in this count. The 3-1. This to third. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Dodgers hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting. Runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers. Three runs on nine hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Marlins, two runs on four hits. No errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 50 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance, a sellout. 56,000. The Dodgers thank you for attending tonight's game. And as you leave Dodger Stadium, we remind you to please drive home safely.